So in today's video, I'm going to try to give you a quick and dirty guide as to how to get everything working properly on your W app. If you don't do these things, it's not going to work right. So please stop before you try to run the W app. Do these things and everything should run real smooth for you. Now, this is an Amazon Fire tablet. It's not an Android tablet, but I've got it hacked so it has the Google Play Store on it. If you want to know how to do that, I'll put a uh, link in the description of this video to teach you how to do that. It's real easy. So download your app first, the W app from the Google Play Store. Connect your W app hardware via Bluetooth to your Amazon or Android tablet. Now, go ahead and open up that app. The first thing you're going to want to do, okay, is hit this gear icon and click update W app just to make sure you have the correct firmware. No matter what it says for firmware, this is what you need to do. Turn off the app, the, the hardware rather. Press and hold the button until things start flashing goofy. You know, they flash goofy for a second and then they stopped. So let's try that again. Press and hold the button until it's like alternating flashing goofy. There's a flash. There's that goofy flash I'm looking for. That back and forth flash. Now give this a second. It, it should. The update button should go ahead and highlight. This is all connecting via Bluetooth, so it's kind of slow. But give it a moment. There it is. As soon as it says update, press update. Now this is going to take probably about five minutes. It's a relatively slow connection. So go ahead and let this update. We're only at 2% right now. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll turn it back on when we're about done and we'll go to the next step. Excuse all the running around upstairs. That's what usually happens when I'm trying to shoot a video. Dogs, kids, Blancas, all that stuff. Okay, it's at 100%. And it says it's done, so you can go ahead and click finish. Notice the W app's off, so go ahead and turn it back on. Just press and hold the power button until it comes on. Little Bluetooth icons on up here next to the gear. That's good. Now what we got to do is add some fixtures. So click on the gear icon and choose setup lights. Turn on your first light like that it'll see it right away you can choose the group you want it in you can choose if you want it, uh, to have a DMX address or not I don't want it to have a DMX address I want it to be group one so I'm leaving that alone next light I'm gonna press and hold the power button on this one boom there it goes it says it's uh, group one I want no DMX again I mean you can choose whatever you want but that's how I'm doing it today next light then I have to go over to this one here, turn the power on. There it shows me. Group one, no DMX, that's what I want. Done. Okay. Now all these lights should be programmed. And but as you can see, my color changer or my color selector doesn't work. And I'm finding that very annoying. I can go to presets and I can choose a color, but I can't use this. And I want to use that. Now the reason I can't use it. It's because I have not updated these fixtures yet. Here's what you do. Turn your fixtures off. Now, press and hold the power button until they start flashing all crazy. On each light. See, they're flashing crazy. Go back to that gear icon. We need to update the lights. Now, down here, you got a menu where you can choose what light you want to update from Ape Labs. Press this, it gives you a choice. We want the maxi, so we want to keep that maxi, but if it was sticks, you'd press sticks or whatever. Then you just press update. 
it actually goes pretty fast. So they're flashing red like that, it means they are indeed updating. It's a lot quicker than trying to update via Bluetooth with the W app hardware device. Okay, finish. Our lights are all off now. So what we can do is go ahead and turn them back on. And look at that. Everything works like it's supposed to now. So you must do these things. You have to. It's not even optional. You must do these things if you want this to work right. If you don't do these things, you're going to be very frustrated because a lot of things just won't work. Here, we'll put them in music mode just for fun and pound on the floor and let them flash. Yeah. So anyway, that's what you got to do. Yeah, look, I'm talking and they're moving around. So if you do this stuff, everything's going to work right. If you don't, it's not. You're going to get really, really upset. So quick, dirty tutorial for you today. Hope it helps somebody. Practice and enjoy.